Um, but, but people ask us about, about how, we write, how we write the arrangements, and uh, we, we firmly believe in showing rather than telling. So this is, a, this is one, of our, one of our arrangements that we rewrote the lyrics of to uh, create a sort of a Windborne how-to guide. Oh, when we sing a lilting ballad, we start with Will's beauteous solo voice, all for to hear the main theme plainly. Besides, we had to make some kind of choice. Then Lynn joins in, all on a drone part. Well, not quite she'll sing notes two or three as we establish the second section of this original windborne melody. And then we raise our fourfold voices in harmony. Both clear and strong, it's the most straightforward arrangement that you will hear in this whole song. The second section has some crunches because we like to add in funky chords. The drama builds as we sing louder and then pull back on these last words. The next verse, Lauren sings a high drone to change the texture of our tune. The shift is subtle but effective and warns that more is coming soon. Then Jeremy drops out of the arrangement and Will sings melody while the women burn. Now I'm back. Then we continue all four together. Our mission here is almost fulfilled. Oh, oh Will leads bravely into the last verse. But Jeremy, but Jeremy makes up my his harmony. He I does this on all of our arrangements. Despite them, we I sing, sing most earnestly. A quiet entrance leads to the finish of this long ballad. Then you can go. Fast build to the high point of the B part. You might think this is the end, but no. No, the final two lines are worth repeating. The song concludes now, hushed and slow. Thank you very much.